Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. This is my top five Rob Zombie movies. I recently acquired the complete Rob Zombie bundle on Apple Movies, iTunes. I don't know what it's called now, but he had all eight or seven of his films for like 20 bucks. So never really been the biggest Rob Zombie fan, you know, but I've been watching a lot of horror movies and I've found not only just in my watching of a lot of horror horror movies being just the the it, it being a lot easier to enjoy and the get into the vibe of a movie now that I've been watching so many horror movies in general. Uh, I think I can, you know, get into especially the the uh, recently the Saw franchises that like after going through the Saw franchises, uh, you know, going through Rob Zombie films should be a cakewalk. Uh, But, you know, not I've enjoyed his stuff like it's I've watched all of them pretty much before 20 bucks. Why not? And I'll go through and being able to watch all of his movies in succession will allow me to get the vibe of him more and make me just appreciate what he's doing. Once I kind of see like how he likes to tell a story, clearly he likes to have certain types of characters. He works with a lot of the similar characters. He has a very grungy, degenerated, uh, like things are falling apart. Very much like almost a modern day Western type of a feel. Everything's very dirty. Everything's, you know, very, it seems, you know, just miserable just disgusting characters are disgusting everything's weathered from like the characters faces to like every piece of everything in in these movies like he has a very specific aesthetic which i can appreciate also i wanted to see i want to go through the halloween franchise and uh he did a reboot of halloween and did a sequel to that i wanted to see those uh, just to see what he did with it after, you know, just having seen Halloween for the first time recently. Uh, I'm interested to get into those movies, and I want to, you know, rank those movies as well one of these days. Uh, or at least rank the um, kind of the, the, the different, like, fractured pieces of that franchise, as it were. Uh, but that's not what I'm doing. This episode, I'm just talking about my top five Rob Zombie films. So let's get it started, because I did enjoy some of them. Some of them are bad, but I, I did enjoy some of them. Uh, he has, a, once, once you kind of get his aesthetic and you get used to the, you know, get used to his voice, uh, I can appreciate it a lot more. Uh, but starting off, number five, my, my fifth favorite. There are a couple movies that didn't make the list, and you'll find those out later. But my number five film from Rob Zombie is... Three from Hell. It is, I believe, the newest of his films. Uh, this one came out in 2019. Uh, this is the final chapter in the Firefly family, the family from The Devil's Rejects, the family from A House of a Thousand Corpses. This is the trilogy, the final film in that kind of series, which I appreciate. I enjoy it. One of the characters passed away, so he wasn't featured. The clown guy, let's see what his name is here. Um, uh, Captain Spaulding. So you lose him. They have a a long-lost brother that comes in to kind of round out the the three from hell. Um, And this movie takes place in the Firefly. They have been caught. So somehow they survived Devil's Rejects. The end of Devil's Rejects, the three of them are in a car approaching a, a, a lot, line of cop cars, and the movie depicts them being shot up. So this movie, they survive. They're like, miraculously, like they're just all telling through like news clips. Miraculously, these, these killers survived their wounds and are in prison, and they became like famous in prison. And uh, definitely a lot of CG, CG blood. Uh, he's definitely kind of calmed down as a director and he's not doing as much of the, the quick cuts and things like that, kind of setting shots up a little bit more. Um, 
but yeah, not the best. It's a little long. I felt. Uh, where are my notes here? Um, but still a, a a cool end, I guess. Um, a cool end to uh the trilogy. It's a little long. This movie is long, and 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 uh, Sherry Moon, uh, zombie, his wife, who's in all of the movies, plays baby. Uh, she's clearly, this was like her movie to do her performance. She's doing like the Joker in this movie, which I appreciate. She's like trying, she's trying to act her ass off in this one. And I think she pulls it off. Like, I would not mind seeing her as like, I don't think she's the greatest actress necessarily. She does okay. It's kind of the same thing in all the movies, even if she's not playing that same character. But, you know, Baby's a very specific type of a character. And, and this one, she's, she's trying to, to knock it out of the park. And, and, I, and I can appreciate that. But it is kind of, like, long. It is a long one. Uh, a little overly long, I should say. Uh, because they're, like, in prison, and then they end up getting broken out of prison, and it's, like, them trying to survive as they do in, you know, I, I don't know. It was okay. It was okay. But not my favorite. It's only my fifth favorite. Let's move on. Move on to my fourth favorite, my number four favorite Rob Zombie movie. And that movie is Halloween, his remake, which I appreciated. The second one, let's just spoilers, may not, maybe not make, might not make the list. But this reboot of Halloween was interesting. Definitely more of an action-y type of movie a lot of shaky cam but it gives you the backstory he tries to make michael myers a, th a sympathetic character as is all of rob zombie films he's really does a lot to try and make his these disgusting people sympathetic like these disgusting monsters sympathetic and the monster of halloween michael myers he tries to do that same thing and he does that by kind of showing the backstory before like the first Halloween just he it starts with Michael Myers killing his sister we don't know why he killed his sister this one it sets up like this this life where he's you know his stepdad is an asshole his mom is a stripper and trying to do the best she can she's got a sister that's like doesn't care it's got some problems with it like the Michael Myers mask is worn by the sister's boyfriend and has and like when he when Mike gets after he kills his family I I think it's just I think the first part of this movie is great and then once it becomes Michael Myers grown up and breaking out of the the mental institution kind of falls apart not as good but an interesting remake of the Halloween franchise. You know, you still got the babysitters. There's a lot of, like, direct references to the first one. Um, you know, the, both their friends are babysitters. They're going over to each other's house so they can, you know, one of them's going to watch both of the kids. Um, except for a lot more of it takes place in the Michael Myers house. Uh, the scenes, there's so dark, like I said, it's my biggest complaint about most movies, horror movies, superhero movies, I'm tired of dark scenes. This one's not necessarily dark with like a bunch of CGI stuff, like fighting. This is dark, a lot of shaky cam, just, it's tough to watch. It's just, it's just difficult to watch. It's not tough like in a in a like a gross way. It's just it's it's like migraine inducing watching the shaky cam, like tons of quick cuts. It's definitely a completely different type of a take on the Halloween story. But I enjoyed it. I, I it was a lot of fun. I, I you know that beginning part. Uh, I really kind of enjoyed how they he fleshed out that Michael Myers character. He was getting bullied at school, you know, but was also kind of a bully. It's it's like it, Rob Zombie characters. 
they're like sympathetic, but then they'll kick you in the balls for, for giving a shit. Uh, so that's my number four. Halloween is my number four favorite Rob Zombie movie. Moving on to number three. A little over four years ago, I started The Many Faces. It's an ongoing series of abstract ink portraits. Each piece is improvised. Each piece is released daily. Start collecting now. Head on over to inspireddisorder.com slash TMF. That stands for The Many Faces. And save yourself 25% when you use coupon code RTS. That stands for The Ray Taylor Show because that's what you're listening to. And I love you. So I want you to save 25% when you use that coupon code. Head on over to inspireddisorder.com slash TMF and use coupon code RTS to save 25%. When you start collecting one of over 1,600 original ink paintings by myself, I made them. Support me. I love you. Back to the show. My number three favorite Rob Zombie movie is a movie that starts with the same number. That movie is 31, which I've seen before. I've seen all of these movies. But I, I really, after watching all of his movies in succession and really just getting his vibe and how he likes to tell stories, whether it's a good or bad, whatever. This one, 31, is probably some of the most sympathetic his characters have ever been. He's these people, these carnies that are, you know, driving to the next town through a desert and they get uh, they get captured by this group. It's almost kind of like Squid Game, or or um, you know, you got these wealthy elites betting on whether or not these people can survive over a night. So kind of like uh, the Purge in some ways as well. Um, you know, there's this facility. They have their trained killers in there to 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 kill them and they, they, you know, constantly yelling out, uh, what, you know, the, the odds are for their survival. It's a fun show. It's a fun movie. It's, you know, you get a lot of the same types of characters that you get in Rob zombie movies, obviously the same actors, but they're similar characters as well, but they are definitely the most sympathetic out of all of his movies. I think, despite the fact that they're, you know, they're being hunted down the different characters that are doing the hunting are fun. I just really enjoyed it, surprisingly. I didn't like it the first time I watched it, but now just watching it in the context of knowing what Rob Zombie likes to do in movies, uh, I really enjoyed 31. 31 was a lot of fun. Do, do I have some notes on that one, maybe? Um, oh, the opening monologue is great. The, the actor that plays that, that character, uh, what's that character's name? Let me pull that up real quick. Um, Roscoe Pep, no, Doomhead. The names they had for these, like killers, are were was kind of, you know, they they all ended in head. Sickhead was a little person that was spoke Spanish but was dressed as Hitler, you know, uh, but they all ended in head. Doomhead, Richard Brake, great, great opening monologue, great performance. Just a really fun movie. A really fun movie. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching that one. Uh, so, yeah, coming in at number three is 31. My second favorite Rob Zombie film ever that he ever made was actually the first movie he ever made, and that movie is A House of a Thousand Corpses. Uh, I was surprised at how much, like, I'm so glad that I, I went through and rewatched all these Rob Zombie films because, like, my, my view of his, not, not high. I, not a very, like, I enjoy, like, now that I understand, understand his aesthetic, now that I understand the types of characters, the types of stories that he likes to tell, like, I can, I can jump in and, and enjoy it a lot more, a lot easier. So House of a Thousand Corpses, great horror film. You got, you got Rain Wilson. You got, uh, what's the other guy's name? Um... Chris Hardwick are these two schlubs on a road trip with their girlfriends. 
and they're into like they're kind of hipstery guys uh into horror into horror movies and there's this roadside attraction of like chicken and like horror museum and like all these kind of different things and they go in and they love it and uh they're told to like go down to this other house and uh you know check out this the you know the thing that they saw in a video go go check out that that haunted house or whatever and that's you know that is where and then it's like uh like a texas chainsaw massacre where you have like this house this family these the firefly family that lives at this house uh captures and kills and tortures people and the, the house is full of a thousand corpses of all the different victims that these these just horrible people uh do the, just like this insanity this insanity that exists in this house um and it's just a whole setup where that the front that business you know is there to send people to that house so they have more victims um so it's it's great you know it's great seeing just kind of that that movie where these people are in this situation where they're like surrounded by evil and then slowly get uh chewed up and spit out you know you have he rob zombie also has a thing with clowns there's you know 31 clowns there's two clowns that are killers uh obviously captain spaulding is a clown in you know plays a clown in these movies there's in the three from hell there's a ref there's a, a literal clown that comes to a party for some reason that scene to go back to three from hell where the clown shows up to like the birthday party for adults it feels like there was a scene that involved captain spaulding from the original script of three from hell that had to be changed because he died but they wanted to keep in on some level really weird really weird scene did not fit at all like nobody's ordering a clown for an adult party but he has this thing with clowns which is fine i mean that's very you know it is a you know the clown thing is a, a big aspect of horror films um but yeah house of a thousand corpses a lot of fun uh it was actually surprising to see uh rain wilson and uh chris hardwick in this and i thought they were great too a lot of fun uh so that's my second favorite rob zombie film house of a thousand corpses now you might be surprised this i you might be surprised with my number one might be but my favorite rob zombie film is the number one film in my top five rob zombie films is the devil's rejects it is the second film in the firefly trilogy uh, i believe it was his second film that he made as well uh a lot of the same characters this one they're on the run right somebody found out they're killing people so they're on the run and it is just evil on the run and just seeing how they react with people and just terrify them they you know there's the there's a scene where they go to it's like a motel and there's this traveling band that they they end up uh holding up and just torturing and and like brutalizing and killing um you have a rogue cop that's tired of trying to track these people down and wants to just kill them he kills the matriarch of the family and he's after them like i said earlier this one ends with assumingly this family getting killed trying to escape and then you know driving towards a, a barricade of police getting shot by the you know shot up by the police um which is a great ending you know these very un like definitely does everything possible to make you sympathize with these disgusting horrible people is a very interesting thing that rob zombie tries to do in his movies is trying to get you to sympathize with 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 just with the mo the worst the the most deplorable of humans like just evil he wants you to sympathize with evil which is an interesting stance a lot of some horror movies 
the monster is almost like a superhero for the the you know kind of taking out the the people that like you think about like a movie like Sleepaway Camp where the the bad guy in Sleepaway Camp is taking out like and killing like bad people like it's almost it, so there there's some horror movies that are able to make you sympathize with the villain because the villain is taking out bad people but then there's Rob Zombie who's trying to make you sympathize with the devil right this is, these are people the devil wouldn't even ha- like they were too much for him they kicked they kicked them out of hell and now they're you know like i w- actually i would love to see because his aesthetic is so much of a western western horror i'd love to see him do a western like a straight up western um, and it could be a horror film also, but it's like, it's, it's doing modern day Westerns of like horror films. It's, it's very interesting aesthetic. Uh, but yeah, Devil's Rejects, I enjoyed it. It's my favorite. Uh, it really displays all the horribleness of that Firefly family. Um, you know, it, it opens up that world a bit that, that was started with the Devil's Re- or with the thousand, House of a Thousand Corpses. Didn't really stick the landing, in my opinion, with Three from Hell, but it was it's my favorite Rob Zombie film. So my top five Rob Zombie films are again number five, Three from Hell, number four, Halloween, number three is the movie 31. Number two is House of a Thousand Corpses. And my favorite Rob Zombie film is The Devil's Rejects. Please let me know what your favorite Rob Zombie films are. Uh, I did not like the, the Lords of Salem. I thought it was way too long. And I'm kind of tired of the... I'm not into horror movies that include, like, the devil or God or anything like that. So, like, this, this whole thing in horror movies that they do where it's, like, the witches... Are, are like are devil worshipers it's like i'm pretty sure that, that the devil doesn't exist in their belief structure but that's a standard thing for films and that one's just it's weird and it's long it's whatever um so yeah the, the lords of salem not it's an interesting premise it's probably his most subdued as far as directing it's not like a crazy you know run and gun like chaotic grimy style it's probably his most sub- subdued of films. And visually, I thought it was good. I mean, there's aspects of it that I liked. Um, and then Halloween 2 was just horrible. There's like this. I haven't seen, and I don't know what the actual Halloween 2 is. I've never seen it, the original. But like this, this injecting like this horse thing and his mom coming to him as well as him. As a kid, like it's, it gets confusing and boring and uh, just not, just not like all of the worst parts of the first one that like the shaky cam and the like treating it like an action movie didn't, didn't help out the sequel. Uh, so yeah, that one didn't make it either. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Let me know what your top five are of Rob Zombie films. One more time. Uh, my top five, number five is Three from Hell, number four, Halloween, number three, 31, number two, House of a Thousand Corpses, and number one, The Devil's Rejects. Rejects. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at Patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!